do the Little Mermaid premiere in London. We've Ubered the outfit over. It should be here by quarter past six. A clam? We're gonna go with it. The remake they've done. Don't get me wrong, I was nervous about the remake. The role of Eric. Oh. For the next couple of vlogs, we're probably gonna have mess because life's a mess, isn't it? Reese was like, Wiggins over there. We're moving, I'm not pushing it back. You know like the tea towels you used to wear when you like did the nativity at school? Why not spend 99 pounds on three handles? Hugo, are you enjoying your first trip to Ikea? Yeah. Yeah. So we've done well. Guys, it is Monday, it is a new week and I'm so excited because today I am going to the Little Mermaid premiere in London, less discreet, like, I am so excited. Growing up right, I always wanted to be an actor and my goal one day was to be on a red carpet. Obviously granted I wanted to be in the film, but I don't see myself being an actor anytime soon. You never know what could happen in the future, but right now I don't think that's my vibe. I think I'm very much the hair behind the screen. Do you know what I mean? But I get to go to the Little Mermaid premiere in London. I don't even know what to say. So my client Tasha is going and she's got the most beautiful outfit ever. Like it's, it literally just looks like, you know, like the whites on a wave, like in the ocean, like as it like goes like that. And then you're like, you get the whites at the top. That is her dress. It's stunning. She's got pearls. She's, oh, it's gonna look unreal. I'm so excited. Basically though, I've got a drama, ordered a suit and it's not arrived yet. Ordered it on Friday. It got sent out on Saturday for next day delivery Sunday, but it was sent out with every, and we know how every is. So I'm praying it gets here before I have to leave. I've got to leave at about half one, two o'clock today. So I'm praying it gets here beforehand and I'm praying it looks nice because I actually don't have a backup. Anyway, to take my mind off of everything and to chill out a bit, I'm gonna go to the gym. I'm gonna get my face like shaved. So maybe my face might look a little bit thinner. I'm gonna go and do that now, just so even if my suit doesn't arrive, I feel 10 out of 10 in whatever I end up wearing. But yeah, I'm just so excited. Okay guys, you don't even understand. The outfit's arrived. It's five o'clock in the evening. I'm now getting it Ubered over here because I need to wear this outfit. And I know this is gonna sound ridiculous and to so many people, but it just needs to happen. So yeah, we've, we've Ubered the outfit over. It should be here by quarter past six. And then when I found out I got the role, I was squealing with joy and then- Thank you so much, London! So guys, the event is finished. Um, it was an amazing movie. I'll talk more about it tomorrow because I just want to get home and get into bed and get a shower and just, you know. Anyway, my jacket did arrive. I painted my nails blue, by the way. My jacket did arrive. Um, the Uber ended up cancelling on me. So I ended up having to ask my mum if she would be okay with driving it over here. Actually, she offered, so I didn't feel so bad. I did feel bad, don't get me wrong, but I didn't feel as bad as I probably would have done had I had to like ask myself. But the jacket, Honestly, it's stunning, I love it. It's like, I felt like a little clam in the ocean. A clam? We're gonna go with it. I felt like a little clam in the ocean. It was stunning. I'm gonna try and add some form of like video or pic of it. But I just love the jacket. I love it so, so, so much. I just felt really cute tonight. I really did. My gosh, today has been a day and a half. I got back from obviously the Little Mermaid premiere last night and I didn't get in until about half 11 absolutely shattered and then had to get up and leave for work by about six this morning literally to go back to the place where i was last night i mean my client tasha did offer me to stay in her room but i didn't have any of my stuff ready for today and i just needed to get back and get that all sorted so i didn't end up going to bed till like 12 half 12 i uh, just shattered today went really well though my client tasha is off to the prince's trust awards it's like a big sit down dinner award ceremony obviously for the prince's trust basically does what it says on the tin. She's got this gorgeous ball gown on. We did a really slick bun with like a tiny fringe piece coming down. Oh, I just loved it. I genuinely think it might have been my favorite look she's ever had in my whole entire life. So yeah, that's been really fun to do like two completely different looks in the space of two days. Obviously yesterday doing her hair for the Little Mermaid premiere and then obviously today doing her hair for the Prince's Trust. It was just, yeah, chef's kiss, loved it. So about last night, 
I absolutely loved going to the premiere. Like, not only was it an amazing experience just like walking the carpet and things like that, just the actual atmosphere of a premiere. And to be able to attend like such a crucial and pivotal movie in the movie world was just unreal. The Little Mermaid, I swear to God, I love the movie so much. The remake they've done, don't get me wrong, I was nervous about the remake, okay? It was unreal. Like, so good. The casting, spot on. Like, literally spot on. The voice of Scuttle, unreal. The voice of Sebastian, hilarious. Like, absolutely hilarious. Flounder was so cute, like, so, so cute. Which is weird, because they all actually looked like animals, but once you got past that, and they, you, because you, you naturally associate them with their cartoon animated, cre like, creations, don't you? But once you get past that, honestly, top tier casting there with the voiceovers. Melissa McCarthy as Ursula, she brought something completely different to the role, like completely different. And I see why she was cast. I am a ride or die Melissa McCarthy fan. Like she's just incredible. She really is. And she brought an essence of like comedy to the role, which I don't necessarily think we got from Ursula in the animation. She brought this essence of comedy and wit and sarcasm and, oh, it was just unreal. As well as also being the villain, you kind of loved her. You, like, you really, you loved her consistency and her persistence. You just, oh, she was so good. The role of Eric, oh. Eric has always been one of my favourite Disney princes. Eric and Aladdin, they're up there. Oh, and this Eric was spot on casting, like spot on. And then he walked the red carpet, right? And he had like a full skinhead, like a full skinhead, like not bald, but like skinhead. And he looked even more attractive. It was just unreal. And then the casting of Halle, like the casting of Halle Bailey as Ariel. Like, I can't, stunning, simply stunning. She is beautiful. Like, we literally were walking the carpet last night, right? And I turned to my right and I'm like, there's Halle. Tasha, there's Halle. Tasha, there's Halle. And I was having palpitations, like I was here, Hallie was here, and I was going, Tasha, that's Hallie. Tasha, that's Hallie. Like, staring at her. I couldn't even say hello. I was just, but she's stunning. She's, she's just got such a regal presence about her. So fitting to be a princess of the sea. So fitting. She was, like, the whole cast were amazing. And I love, like, the mermaids represented each one of the oceans. Every single little detail was just spot on. I loved it. It wasn't too gimmicky. It was funny. It was enjoyable. It was emotional. It had a beautiful message. Uh, oh yeah, just stunning. And the amount of people and young people even that I think this movie's gonna touch is just so special. Like to see the amount of little girls and boys there yesterday at the premiere, just like in awe of what was happening on the screen. Like we were surrounded by families and it was just beautiful. Just chef's kiss. If anyone wants to go and watch it, please do because I honestly loved it. The one thing I would say I didn't enjoy, and this is coming from a hairdresser's point of view, is that whenever a mermaid or merman or anything, bar Ariel, comes out of the sea, their hair is literally like, their hair's literally like this. In the ocean, their hair's flowing and it's stunning and it's big and it's, gorgeous and then they come out and they're like that's the only thing that didn't feel very disney to me do you know what i mean it was realistic don't get me wrong but it just didn't feel very disney like when ariel comes out the ocean in the movie it's like do you know what i mean yeah anyway i'm rambling i'm gonna go and get a haircut and i'm gonna go to the gym we've also got the landscape gardener over today by the way and they're going to be sorting out the ground and sort of leveling it off and making sure that there's not a big step down from the patio down to the actual grass itself. So yeah, I'm so excited. 
pray it all goes okay. Hey guys, so the landscape gardener has done a day's work. He's back there today now, actually. I'm just walking next to a school. Am I allowed to vlog next to a school? They basically had a bit of an issue where they needed to get a rotavator, so they had to dig up the ground more so. There was concrete there as well. There was just a lot, not from our builders, but just from, just from the last occupiers of the house, basically. I'm just taking this parcel back. This is my outfit that I wore for the premiere. So I'm just taking that back because I only rented it. What, what a smart idea, being able to rent an outfit. <sighs> it is boiling hot outside, right? Let me just adjust this camera. So I dropped off the parcel. Obviously, as I was saying before, I was sort of interrupted by people walking towards me and I got the fear of vlogging outside. I was just delivering my sort of like jacket back. I was sending it back off to the lovely lady at somebody else's guy. I just think it's amazing that you can rent jackets like that because I personally, it's such a statement piece that I probably wouldn't wear it again. I'd wear one of her other designs again for sure, but I wouldn't necessarily wear that one again because I've already worn it. So I love the idea of being able to sort of like rent the jacket. Then she obviously gets it dry cleaned and everything and then ready for the next person. I just think it's such a great idea and it's a really nice nice way of not buying into fast fashion as much because I'm a sucker for just buying a new suit off ASOS anytime I'm going somewhere. Then I went and met my mum and grandma and Hugo for some lunch which was lovely and then we went to go and feed the ducks. I think it was Hugo's first time feeding the ducks you know, I don't think we've done it before. So that was really nice to do. He didn't quite grasp the concept, he kept trying to eat the bread um, which isn't ideal. So we kept having to remind him to sort of just throw the bread instead. I'm off to Matalan now, um, just because I need to go and get some home bits. Reese has sent me a list. We need some kitcheny bits and we need some kitcheny bits and I'm going to see what else is available for home stuff. So yeah, let's see what I get. We're also off to an event tonight in London. I think it's just near the London Eye. It's for a new TV show on Paramount. Um, it's called like No Escape. So it's like apparently an immersive screening experience. So we're going to be watching it before anyone else. It looks like a bit of a thriller that sort of thing, do you know what I mean? Like on the edge of your seat, nail biter type thing. And I don't know how I'm gonna be with that because I'm not that good at those films. So we just got back from the screening. Ignore all the mess, by the way. For the for the next couple of vlogs, we're probably gonna have mess because life's a mess, isn't it? Well, we're still literally moving the whole house. Yeah. So basically there's gonna be mess everywhere and that's something that you're just gonna to have to deal with for the time being. But yeah, we came back from the screening. We didn't have any dinner, so. No. It's 11 p.m. and we're having McDonald's. I thought I was going to be scared, right? Because it looks quite scary. Like, it's not there, thriller, no, but what is it? There's a... It's suspense. Uh, a suspense, Shining. like, yeah. yeah, you're, like, there are certain points in it where you suddenly think, oh my God, oh my God, something's going to happen. Yeah. Like, and it doesn't, but it does, like, at the same time. Yeah, so it's very much like you see, you know, like when you see the ending and then you have to go all the way back to the beginning to see why that ending has happened the way it's happened. Then we also bumped into Whitney and Megan. If you don't know them, what Wegan did next, they're on Instagram. They are like trailblazers for the LGBT community, especially oh, for, do you know what I mean? For like fertility reasons and so many things. Please go and check them out because they are beautiful, but they're also just beautiful people. Like they were so nice. Oh my God, so nice. Reese was like, Wiggins over there. <laughs> so we literally went like sprinting over to go and see them and they were like, oh my God. Because we've only ever known them on Instagram, so yeah. it was nice. But we haven't known them for long. We've known them like five, six months, but yeah. it was just nice to connect with them like actually in person and properly put like a real life body to yeah. the name. Do you know what I mean? A face to the name. Yeah, but they're like such lovely girls and it was just so such a lovely evening. We pretty much spent the entire evening with them. Yeah. We sat with them. We were like their fourth wheels. Literally. Literally. Granny's got Hugo, so we're gonna get into bed, eat McDonald's and go straight to sleep. Yeah. We've actually yeah. had a later night than to be fair, if we were looking after Hugo. Know what, yeah, we did. And I don't I don't even know what we're gonna do the next few weeks. Like because it is so busy, like we have got packing, we have got work, we've yeah. got jobs, there's just so much going on. Like, I don't know I don't know how we're gonna fit any everything in. We're moving, I'm not pushing it back. No, we are going to move, but I just don't know how we're going to fit it all in. Like, there's so much going on. We're going to have to find a way, Rhys. I don't think we could. I don't think we could be busy if we tried. No, I think this is the busiest we've been in a very long time. Everything's just come all at once. Everything. Guys, I realised I never updated you on what I got when I went to Matalan. Um, 
Because the answer is not a lot. Literally, some tea towels. I decided we've got like posh tea towels for when like people come over and then like just normal checkered. Checkered? You know like the tea towels you used to wear when you like did the nativity at school? On your head, one of them. So yeah, got a mixture, sort of to go with the navy theme of the island that we have. So Reese, Hugo and I are gonna go to Ikea today for the first time. Hugo's never been to Ikea, all right? So I think this is gonna be really exciting. I've got a client first and then we're gonna go to Ikea. We haven't got long to do it because then I've got to get back for work again. We're gonna make it work, we're gonna make it happen. We're gonna get lots of stuff in Ikea. Like all the basics, you know, like what you store your pasta in and things like that. That's what we're gonna get. And so we'll take you along with us on that. But before I start my client, I have to tell you the story of the handles, like the bathroom door handles, the bathroom cabinet handles, all right? Basically, we ordered our bathroom cabinets and bathroom, we ordered all of our bathroom stuff, didn't we, from Easy Bathrooms. We absolutely forgot to order handles, like bathroom cabinet door handles. We just forgot to order them. Honestly, I don't know what's wrong with us. We had a mad dash of trying to find door handles for these cabinets and I went to Wix, I went to Homebase, I went to, where else did I go? Screwfix? No. I went somewhere else. I could not find any for love nor money that I liked. Anyway, found some that I really liked on Amazon. Amazon Prime, next day delivery by 1 p.m. because our builders needed them ASAP because they needed to finish the upstairs by Friday because the carpet's being fitted next week. And I said, no builders or anything upstairs after the carpet's been fitted, right? Got these on Amazon, next day delivery, absolutely amazing. They were like 33 pounds per handle. And I thought that is extortionate, but I really like them. So why not spend 99 pounds on three handles? So I spent 99 pounds on three handles. Then the handles arrived. So the handles arrived and I thought, this is really heavy. These must be heavy handles. I opened it. I ordered three packs of 10 handles. I had 30 handles for the, for the price of 99 pounds. Like 30 handles for 99 pounds. What's wrong with me? Why did I think it was okay to spend 99 pounds on just three handles? Why was I sat there on my computer going, yeah, that's fine, let's order it. So we sent two of the boxes home. We have seven spare handles. So if anyone would like seven spare door handles, um, you're welcome to them. Honestly, I just, I don't know how I've made it to almost 27. I don't know how I've made it this far in life. So we've made it to Ikea. Reese has forgotten the family card, so he's gone in to go and sort of like reprint one. We always forget the Ikea family card. It is what it is. So I am just in the car with Hugo.